Are you ready to hear the most shocking news in a long time? A lot of people are talking about how the SEC might go after Ripple again. What's most interesting is that some very important people have agreed with Ripple. They also think that the price of XRP Ripple coin could reach $10,000. That's pretty cool, right? Take it one step at a time. This is going to blow your mind. Nota Bain. Few stories in the world of cryptocurrencies have sparked as much interest and guesswork as the current court case between Ripple Labs and the SEC. The story took a major turn on August 7th, when a court decision gave Ripple a big win. This caused waves of excitement and doubt in the cryptocurrency community. People were both happy and worried about the ruling's instant effects. An important person in the crypto world named Jack the Rippler wrote positively about XRP's potential, implying that the coin could experience a big surge. He said that XRP would go through the roof this year, which echoed the high dreams of many investors. Uncertainty, on the other hand, keeps the joy in check. Since the decision, the SEC has been quiet, which has led many to wonder what it will do next. The August 29th secret meeting of the SEC is going to be very important. Some people, like Stuart Alderati, who is the chief legal officer of Ripple, have expressed worries about what they see as the SEC's possibly irrational approach to Bitcoin cases. Alderati has made it clear that the governing environment needs to be clear and fair. A lawyer who supports cryptography named Fred Rispoli has added his own forecasts. He thinks there is a 50 slash 50 chance that the SEC will file an appeal. This shows how focused the agency is on the secondary market issue, which is a key part of its enforcement plan. It was riskily pointed out that the SEC wants to focus on the secondary market problem. This shows that the case has implications beyond Ripple itself. Another point of disagreement is how much money an appeal might cost. Some people, including Rice Poll, are wondering if the SEC would have to pay Ripple back for the $125 million fine if Ripple wins its case. He asked in a recent X post if the SEC should pay interest or help pay for the damage they did to Ripple and XRP's finances. Investors need to think about these things if they want to make sense of the complicated world of crypto laws and how they affect the market. As buyers wait for more news, the most important thing to remember is to stay alert. Ripple and the SEC are in a legal war, but it's more than just a fight between two groups. It's a big deal that could affect how cryptocurrencies are regulated in the future. The result could change the price of XRP and the mood of the market as a whole. First though, let's hear from the people who are really in the middle of it. This person knows exactly what is going on at this very moment. And believe me, what they say about XRP Ripple is nothing less than thrilling. You should stay. They're making predictions that have never been seen before in the history of XRP Ripple. We've all been waiting for something like this to happen. So in the world of Bitcoin, which is always changing, there have been many bold statements in the past, but Levi's most recent one is one of the bravest. Levi made a lot of noise in the crypto community with his $10,000 goal for XRP in a video shared on X. The current price of XRP is around 60 cents, so that number is huge and almost impossible to reach. Levi isn't just making up this number, though. His confidence comes from the fact that Ripple is working hard all over the world. More so when it comes to digital currencies issued by central banks. Levi's guess is based on what James Wallace, Ripple's vice president of central bank digital currencies, said. Wallace has been in charge of many of Ripple's big projects, including pilots and private efforts that are changing the way digital finance works in a quiet way. It was revealed by the Crypto Basic that Ripple's XRP ledger is already a key part of these developments with users on every continent. Levi says that this global spread isn't just for show, it's preparing the way for what could be a huge rise in the value of XRP. Wallace's ideas show that Ripple isn't just playing in the public blockchain space, they're also working on private versions of the XRP system that are designed to meet the needs of central banks. The strong technology behind these private ledgers is the same as the technology behind the public XRP ledger. However, only authorized users can access them. This method is very important for central banks because they need to keep their digital currency transactions very private and under tight control. Wallace stated that this model lets central banks use blockchain speed and safety while still keeping the privacy they need for their operations. Levi thinks that this focus on privacy is one of the main reasons why financial companies might start using Ripple solutions more often, which are naturally cautious and afraid of taking risks might find Ripple's private ledger method very appealing. Ripple is setting itself up to be the first choice for central banks that want to use digital currencies without letting the public see how they work by offering the necessary privacy and security. But is it possible for XRP to reach $10,000? It's reasonable to be skeptical. To get to that point, XRP would have to go up by 1.6 million percent, which is a huge amount. But Levi's guess isn't just based on numbers. It's about how real-world use cases could lead to widespread adoption 
and how Ripple's technology is becoming more and more a part of the world's banking system. Another well-known figure in the crypto community tweeted, I'm waiting for the ultimate XRP breakout. Levi says that this breakout could happen if Ripple's projects are successfully put into action around the world. Here are some of Ripple's newest and most important relationships. XRP's ability to be used all over the world, the Ripple network is growing at a very fast rate. It is hard to keep up with how fast they are going. There was news not long ago that some of the biggest banks in the world are now working with Ripple. You can't miss this. There's something going on behind the scenes that could make the whole game different. I promise that what you're about to hear will blow your mind. In the fast-paced world of fintech, partnerships and new ideas can change everything in an instant. The XRP community is very excited about the news that Neom is working with JP Morgan Payments. Neom is a well-known cross-border payment company based in Singapore. It has made waves with its amazing global reach, which includes over 220 markets and 100 currencies for transactions. To get to this level of success, though, there were some tough spots, especially in Asia where rules and regulations are very complicated. Neom had to figure out how to deal with the complicated and sometimes conflicting financial rules in the Asia-Pacific area before it could reach its current global status. To grow in this varied market, a lot of money, time, and most importantly, a plan for dealing with the big foreign exchange risks that come with doing business across borders. This is where JP Morgan payments came in. Cross-currency options that work automatically and in real time are like a lifeline. With JP Morgan's customized FX solution, Neom was able to lower the risks that came with changes in the value of the dollar. These risks had been a threat to Neom's finances and customer demand in the past. Neom improved its banking system by using JP Morgan's large global infrastructure. This gave Neom the efficiency and freedom it needed to quickly enter new markets. The relationship changed everything. It gave Neom access to markets in Asia Pacific and Latin America and increased its reach to over 220 countries. The XRP community is always on the lookout for changes that could affect Ripple and its own coin, XRP. They quickly noticed that Neom was working with JP Morgan. Neom already uses Ripple's technology for cross-border payments, so some people thought that this relationship might help XRP in a roundabout way. But well-known people in the community like Crypto Arian Walk quickly made it clear that the Neom JP Morgan Alliance was only about FX solutions and had nothing to do with Neom's work with Ripple. As companies like Neom grow their global operations and form strategic relationships, this clarification brings up an important point that needs to be made in the larger conversation about the adoption of fintech around the world and how it might affect XRP. Cross-border payments as a whole are changing very quickly. Although XRP isn't used directly in every partnership, the fact that the global financial system is getting more complicated and linked together says that Ripple's technology could become more important. As more banks and startup companies look for quick, safe, and expandable ways to do business across borders, Ripple's technology stands out. It's a cheap choice that makes sense for people who want to learn about the complicated world of international finance. This could lead to more people using XRP as a bridge currency, which could raise its value as the need for these kinds of options grows around the world. And now the only question is, what do you think about that? What do you think about the XRP Ripple token? What do you think will happen? Please tell me in the comments. We'd be interested to know. This video has now come to an end. Thanks for seeing it. Thank you for reading. If you liked it, please click the like button, leave a comment with your thoughts or questions, and most importantly, don't forget to follow.